What's up everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Infinite Fusion. As the name of this game says, we're continuing on our journey for Infinite Fusions. After last time, we took down the evil gym leader Brock, the guy with the small rock and his Geoix, which was pretty great. It was a giant rock snake with the head of Geodude. If you can't remember it, uh, it kind of looked like this. It was pretty ridiculous and we actually managed to defeat it only because we had the power of our very own Charino. Check him out. <laughs> our Nidorino Charmander hybrid actually evolved and also learned Dragon Rage which was kind of our key to victory in that last gym battle. But anyway, today we're going to be continuing on and you can see I've actually gotten rid of some of our team members. We've got Aerodactyl and Diglett still chilling out, Rossetti, and then we've still got Mangy on the party as well because I really want to see what his evolution looks like and he's actually pretty close now. So Today, we are actually going to be heading onwards to, I don't know, but this girl is colored and pressed. So if you guys are colored and pressed, make sure to leave a like and get ready because we are taking on Route 3 and starting off right with a nice little, I, I don't actually know, what? Excuse me, sir. Uh, you are bug catcher Sally, I see. All right, so, <laughs> ha ha. Okay, Sally. Well, first of all, let me tell you, that is not a uh, bug type. That's actually an electric and poison type from what I can tell. And a very annoying that it, annoying one at that because it's a little <laughs> uh, Nidorina Pikachu or Nidoran, whatever. I can't think of when the Pokemon are what because this says that it's a Nidoran male, but it looks to me like a Nidoran female, so I'm really not sure what it is at this point. It could just be... Now, it does definitely look like Nidoran female to me, but it's a male, so maybe it takes the uh, gender from Pikachu. Overall, I'm just very confused. I think this person in general, Bugcatcher Sally here, is very confused because I don't know if she knows whether she wants to be a boy or girl, and then her Pokemon don't really seem to know either. But, I mean, to each their own, I don't really care. You do what you, do you Sally, that's all I gotta say. And by doing you, I mean, you're done. You're done, bro. Oh, what? Hello, excuse me, what is going on here? Chirino is evolving right now, what? Hold up, hold up, wait a minute, because we already had Chirino evolve into a Charmander Nidorino hybrid. So what if now at the level that Nidorino evolves at, we are actually gonna get, yes! It's exactly what I wanted, and wow, it actually doesn't look that bad to be honest, guys. This actually looks pretty cool. Like, it still looks like it could be Nidorino just recolored. I guess because Charmeleon does have the little unicorn on his head, too. Yeah, that's pretty cool, man. I did not expect that we were going to be evolving just like that. But hey, I did ask in the last episode uh, which Pokemon I should use up next. And actually, one of the ones that I wanted to see at least the most was going to be that. That Nidorino and actual Charmeleon fusion instead of the Charmander face because I thought it looked pretty dumb. So anyway, let's explore this route a little bit and see what kind of new Pokemon are lurking in the grasslands because... We kind of need some new Pokemon to fuse around. I know we have Articuno, or sorry, Aerodactyl right now, which we surprisingly got back in the museum. So, pretty cool that we got him as a Pokemon just kind of randomly. And now we're looking for a very good Pokemon to fuse him with, but unfortunately not really finding anything too great. Hey, it's this guy. He loves shorts. They're so comfy and so easy to wear. And you know what else are really easy to wear, man? No pants at all. You like shorts? Well, try going no pants at all. And he <laughs> has got... A slow data. <laughs> this is pretty funny looking too. Uh, but I don't have any items to heal up our paralysis right now, so that's not good. We have some DNA splicers and a leaf stone, dude. I don't know when we're ever gonna get to use that leaf stone, but maybe one day. And thankfully, Mangy here is actually half fighting type, so makes some resist those slow tata attacks a little bit more, but then we actually do absolutely no damage. So Mangy, I would think I'm gonna need you to evolve before you actually get into any more battles because I think what happened is he's a physical attacker but he's got gust and I don't know if what gust is in this game because this game is a remake kind of of the third generation so the fire red and leaf green but I don't think the mechanics work quite like those games I'm pretty sure they're updated to like Pokemon black and white so most of the attacks will be split physical and special I'm pretty sure I haven't actually checked in the um what the heck Cattercans, dude what is going on, bro? I like this. It's a little snake with Caterpie's head. I mean, it's obvious what it is, but I'm saying that the combination actually looks pretty decent because it still gives Ekans kind of like a real-life snake color. Are there actually green snakes in real life? I feel like I've definitely seen some before. Like, back when I lived in Florida, 
Uh, there were actually a lot of snakes back over there, especially because my dad was actually kind of a bird keeper. That's kind of weird to think about now because here's weekends, which is actually what we're on right now. Hey, it's Saturday, guys. Look, it's the weekend, not weekends. Ah, that was my joke, though. It didn't really work out, but thankfully this thing is also a uh, bug type, so we can make quick attack work of it. Boom. Critical hit to finish it off, but yeah, my dad was actually a bird keeper, which is kind of weird to think about now because that's a Pokemon trainer type, but he literally, like, had this whole little aviary in the backyard, and it was really, really cool, and oh man, Chirino is also looking really cool as he's gonna look to take out this, are you kidding me? I can't take out a rat pie. This is disgusting, this is some filthy Frank crap right now, dude. I don't want any rat pies, you're done, Zo. I, I, I want nothing to do with that. I literally don't. This kid is freaking me out right now. I don't want to deal with that. Hello. Avoid fights by not letting people see you. Oh, that's a lot easier said than done, buddy. You know how many people are looking at me constantly? And I'm not even just talking like, I guess I could take that into YouTube as well, like how many people are watching on here. But I meant more so in real life every day when you go outside, everyone is looking at you. I mean, not everyone literally, but you know, there are people that can look at you. That's what I'm trying to say. So Keep an eye out because there's people keeping an eye on you, buddy. So, yeah. I don't know if that was supposed to teach this guy a lesson. I think he's the one that ended up teaching me a lesson now, especially after going for that pursuit because I was definitely not expecting that to say the least, but hey, at least this Kakro here will go down now to Dragon Rage, which is really cheap because I don't know. I don't really want to use Dragon Rage. It feels really, really cheap using Dragon Rage like this early into the game and oh no I have avoided seeing someone else why is it that I'm so bad at not letting people see me I don't know but I really could learn a thing or two from spear pod wow okay I did not think that combinations could get any weirder anymore but then spear pod comes out and it literally looks like something that you would poop out in the toilet and then it would be really creepy if it was staring back at you when you found it in there. Gosh, I don't know what is up with me. I seem to have a potty mouth today, literally, because... What? Oh, what the heck, Sushrew? You have no eyes, dude. How are you look... What? How are you going to be able to see me if you ain't got no eyes? You see this? These people were the whole time talking about these this metaphor about only when people see you is when you engage in battle, but then... They pull this crap and they have these Pokemon with no eyes and then how am I supposed to understand what you're saying because Fighting makes this guy hungry and guess what fighting makes me hungry too except I don't actually ever fight I just do Pokemon battles, but all right Let's go ahead and take quick work of these guys because I'm pretty sure we already battled the spear pie anyway We've had all kinds of pies today. We had Ekans pie. We had a Rattata pie We have a Spiro pie right now and then we had the aftermath which was that spear pod That's what you get after you eat all of that different kinds of pies is pretty gross man to think about but that's what happens another caterpie oh what oh my gosh this is so weird it looks like it's literally wearing like a mask of some kind to make it what that's so weird that was actually pretty cool though it, it looked like a legit hybrid pokemon like the other ones don't really look that much like fusions like i don't know this one doesn't make much sense right a bird with the face or sorry a, a little What's it called? Bug with the face of a bird, but I don't know. Since it is a bug, we're going to peck it away and eat it. The point is, sometimes they actually look like they could be legit fusions. Like, that one looked like you took the head off of Caterpie, ripped it off, and somehow, like, stuck it onto the body of that thing. Uh, yeah, see, this one doesn't look as good, just because Weedle's head is so dumb looking. <laughs> it actually kind of looks like Diglett as well, so what would be even funnier? Combining Diglett and Aerodactyl or combining Weedle and Aerodactyl. I feel like Weedle would be funnier, but then again, it would also be a whole bunch weaker, so not gonna go for that. We are gonna go, however, for the grass, which is totally not gonna have any good Pokemon at all in it. I don't know why I even bother looking in the grass when, honestly, I kind of know already there's just gonna be like wild Pidgeys and Spearows, and hey, which one's gonna be? Pidgey or Spearow? Cast your votes right now, because ladies and gentlemen, it is actually the combination of both of them, which we somehow haven't seen before yet. So let's see if somehow I don't one-shot this thing with Peck because it is level 6. And alright, I somehow didn't kill it in one hit. I don't know how that happened, but we're going to catch it because I'm actually kind of curious of seeing the evolution of these guys. Like, Spiro and Firo, or sorry, 
Pidgeon, Spiro, Spiro, whatever. I want to see what it's going to look like when they actually combine in evolution. That would be pretty cool. Though I don't think I'm going to be able to train it up. Anyway, let's heal up real quick because we are now about to head into Mount Moon. And oh my goodness, do I see a guy with a Magikarp over there? Yes, I do. Yes, sirree. Hello there. I've got a deal just for you. I'll let you have this rare Magikarp here for just $500. Heck yeah. I'm going to give it a nickname. Yeah, why the heck not? Your name is going to be... $500. That does not say dollar. Alright, guys. I kind of might have messed up a little bit there. Um, So, for those of you that might not know, I don't actually know how to type on a keyboard. So, I kind of just guess where the keys are, which is... Might be interesting to some of you. Might be kind of like, dude, are you serious? You're, are you really? You really can't? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Why is it that every time I bring you out, it's got to be an electric type? And why is it that you have to be a fairy type? Why do fairy types exist in this game? Excuse me? Sir, Pika Puff? Uh, I was not aware that, that electric type, sorry, that fairy types existed in this game. And so you're making this just a little bit creepier, Pika Puff. I, the sad thing is I know both of these Pokemon we could have gotten by now. Like, I don't know how the heck we honestly haven't gotten a Pikachu yet, but... I know that we've had the ability to do so. We can also get a Jigglypuff right in this very route, I'm pretty sure. So, we could have both of these Pokemon. I just kind of... I don't know. I, I haven't been able to find the good ones. Especially with Fusions being available around here. Like, it's even harder to get the good Pokemon that you want. Anyway, we are now paralyzed, which is cool. So, hopefully my bite can go through this and take out Pika Puff because I am kind of done staring at his creepy little face. It's actually quite a big face now that I think about it. So it's creepy, big face. It doesn't have as good of a catch to it though, like a good ring to it. All right, there's one last trainer though, and it's this person over here. Too many tough trainers for you on this road. Actually, yeah, there are quite a lot considering how little trainers we've been battling beforehand. There was that one weird one though, uh, last Sally or whatever, but everyone else for the most part has been kind of normal. We've got a little Caterpie Paris combination now. Mostly just bugs around here. I mean, it is kind of the bug catcher road, but I wasn't expecting, honestly, this many weird looking bugs. There were a lot of really cool looking ones, and then there were a lot of very not so cool looking ones. Speak of the devil right here. We got this Paris Metapod combination, which I'm not too sure about. Uh, don't know. Don't know, dude. Don't know what to say, really. I don't even get Metapod. Does it eat? Like, does it have a mouth? Is that thing its mouth? Was that thing its nose? I'm not sure. I've actually never really looked at Metapod and understood how the heck it works. Like, I always just saw the eye and I was like, what? That's his mouth or something like that? I couldn't tell for the longest time, so whatever. Let's go into Mount Moon, which has some really cool revamped music that we're not going to get a chance to hear because here is Zubat. And that is a Pokemon that I actually also kind of want to catch, uh, just because we saw how big the mouth thing was when you put it on top of a random Pokemon, so I feel like that would be kind of hilarious, seeing a big old Zubat mouth on a random Pokemon that we've got on the team. So let's catch it and see how this ends up. Oh gosh, I've just imagined a Diglett Zubat crossover, and it is not looking good, dude. I wonder what Dugtrio would look like evolved, like which head would take the little head of the other Pokemon, huh? And Dodrio, same thing. That's so weird to think about. But I should actually heal up once again because Pidgey's kind of beat up. Or sorry, Mangy. And I also totally forgot, but we do have a Magikarp brand new on the team. Fresh off of it, we got $500, which I accidentally misspelled, which we can totally fuse with Aerodactyl. I know this is probably going to make a lot of people mad. Actually, I'm getting quite mad myself right now. But hopefully this works out because it should make it water and flying type. And that's a pretty cool combination that actually Gyarados has as well. So I don't know why I'm doing this, but just for the sake of making stupid Pokemon, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Are you kidding me? No! Why did it do this? Oh! It's Aerocarp! Ah! Oh! I wanted to make the other way around. I wanted I wanted to make it No, he kept the nickname too. Oh my gosh. This is this is the worst thing that could have happened to us. This is actually the worst. We now have a rock and water type. 500 dicka. 
What? We just completely ruined our Aerodactyl, so that's great. Welcome back to Mount Moon, everyone. The place where dreams come true, and sometimes dreams are also shattered a little bit because this girl is looking for her friends. And let me tell you, you're not going to find your friends here, Iris. Your friends are over us. So, uh, bro, these gross Pokemon. There's just gross Pokemon all around. I'm not liking it because I, I can't really fight them either. Because this one, at least, is half normal, half fairy type, probably. So, I couldn't even go for Ra Dragon Rage if I wanted to. Also, $500, our little weird Magikarp hybrid now, is only level 12, which is pretty low. I don't know what level it was at earlier, actually. I also just realized, okay, at least it evolves at level 20. So we'll at least have a Gyarados with Aerodactyl's face. That's actually pretty cool now that I think about it. So, all right, all we have to do is get 500 Dicka to level 20, and then hopefully he evolves and doesn't have that name anymore, because that would be great. I really don't want it to have a nickname, especially one that's misspelled like that. It's supposed to be $500, but, I mean, you guys saw me mess it up, right? You guys know that I obviously did not intend for that. Look, the letter I is right next to the O on the keyboard, and the letter K is right next to the L on the keyboard. So it's just a rookie mistake, to be honest. To be quite frank with you guys, it was just a rookie mistake, and this is really weird. It looks like a little baby version of Onyx, <laughs> of, or the Geodude Onyx more so. So yeah, that could be like the pre-evolution. What the heck is a Zuna? What? A Zubat Kakuna. That's actually pretty cool. It looks like a weird leech thing that you'd see crawling onto your skin. Man, some of these Pokemon fusions, honestly, like, the sprite doesn't look very good, but the design would actually be pretty sick. Like, I feel like this would make it kind of a cool Pokemon, like a little leech kind of Pokemon. I don't think they've ever done a leech, so I think it would be kind of cool. I don't know. Some of them actually look pretty decent. Not Mangy, though. Mangy is not looking too great, which is why I'm kind of hoping that two more levels and at 18 he'll be evolving because that's usually when, um... Pidgey evolves into Pidgeotto, so yeah. Hopefully we'll get a Mangyoto or something like that. What would you even say it? Mangyoto? Pidgeotto. Man Mangyoto. Yeah, it's probably just gonna be Mangyoto now that I think about it. I don't know. But this Zubat won't let me escape, which is not cool. So let's just not even give you a chance to attack us. Oh, there he goes. He had a chance there, I, I, I guess. Why didn't the Zubat get to attack last turn? What? It just didn't let me escape, and then it gave me two free hits, so... I'm not too sure. The point is, I came here for this TM of Venoshock, which I'm not really sure why, because TMs don't actually work in this current version of the game. I'm also not sure why I didn't buy repels, so I think I'm gonna head back and do just that, because we don't want to be running into any more of these abominations here. Hey, I somehow caught this Paris. That's pretty good, right? We totally need one of those so we can make some more great fusions. What, you're bugging grass type? How did I never know this? Anyway, your name is gonna be Frank, because frankly, I can't stand the look of your face. We're back in Mountain Moon, everyone, and this time we get to enjoy the beautiful music here because I have gone and bought myself some fusion repels, which apparently are different from regular repels in that they work for a little bit longer and they also prevent fused wild Pokemon from appearing, whereas regular repel apparently only works for real Pokemon. So we're gonna spray this fusion repel and hope that no real Pokemon appear anymore. And guess what? They still do. So there was no point to buying those repels because wild regular Pokemon will still appear and in Mount Moon I feel like those are probably more common than those stupid little fused Zubat Rattata hybrids which look really weird and ugly so it probably would have been better to buy just regular repels oh well I just wanted to hear the music in here man we're not gonna get a chance to do so because many many more super nerds and other what is that what is going on man what is this Ah, Magnet Orb. It just looks so creepy. I just, I'm not sure that I, oh, I'm dead. Oh, never mind. Okay. I, for some reason, thought with a Metal Defense and then Thundershock, that would probably kill us. But, nope. I guess we are somehow pretty dang tanky. Okay, well, I'm not going to argue about it because Mangy is actually pretty close to evolving right now. And holy mother of Macaroni, that is the creepiest thing I have ever seen. That is actually probably one of, yeah, that, I would I would probably have to write that down right next to uh, that one clown from American Horror Story, and then, I don't know, my grandma's, uh, we won't talk about that, but anyway, it's one of the creepiest things I've ever seen, bro, 
The pure face of Red Evil. Red Death right there. Actually, Red Skull from Captain America. That's what it reminded me of. Because it was so weird and so red and so very, very... Ah, but anyway, there's one more trainer over here. Yeah, bro. No, duh. There's no bug types in the cave. I mean, there are little ants and everything, but... Oh, no. Why? Why would you bring this thing out to me? Stop it. Ah, I just... I hate the ones with Zuba as the face. It's just so weird. Stop sending them out against me. Stop being paralyzed, Mangy. Really, dude. And astonished too, so I'm gonna flinch. Yeah. Great, great strategy, Zupai. You're trying to confuse me too. I see what you're doing. You're trying to get the para hacks on me. This is it couldn't even get much worse. Look at how bad this already is. Zupai. Look at how it looks. And then and then he's trying to do para hacks on me, like, bro, for real? You're already annoying enough as it is. You're your combination of Zubat and now it's even worse. Zupod. Ugh! What the heck? And all they're using is leech life too? Like Gosh, man, this is weird. I really just hope that we don't get paralyzed hacks again because I just want to take this thing out as quickly as possible and hopefully get an evolution off of it because that would be pretty sick. That would be a good way to end off this episode. I don't think it's going to happen though because I'm keeping getting astonished and then paralyzed hacks and then yay, we actually took him down. That's pretty uh, nice. All right. Will we actually get the evolution off of this though? Yes, we will. Nice. So our little old mangy is finally going to be sprouting some real wings, or at least I hope so. What if it actually ended up evolving into like a manky, or sorry, primape, and then, no, never mind. It's, it's, it's going to be Pidgeotto. Ew!